But I want to know from you guys, how long should a guy wait for sex? Yeah. And we'll start right here. Until I motherfucking say so. I don't fuck on the first date. I mean, not the cat. Well, that song, I, I couldn't tell from that song earlier. <laughs> well, you know, it's a persona. It's a, it's a character. It's a stage name. And then, what's the longest you made a guy wait for sex? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so you never give it to him. It's the longest. Many times, many times he's not gotten it. And why is that? Because the pussy chooses. I mean, she, she chooses. I don't. So. What? <laughs> Break that down real quick. I, I don't. You know, your pussy, your pussy gets wet for who your pussy gets wet for. Like it's not. But is it because he didn't do well on the date, or like he turned you off? Like what? Me and my therapist been trying to figure it out for, <laughs> for a minute. You know, I've been in there for a year. So catch me next year. I might have some more answers for you. Wouldn't it be fair to say that women get turned on by what they hear, and men get turned on by what they see? Mm. I think women get turned on by what they feel intuitively men talk a lot of shit yeah but the feelings are derived from what they hear correct i mean words are words there's meaning underneath them which directly influence how you feel correct i'd say that takes into account body language eye contact yes a lot of communication can be covert and not be spoken but wouldn't it be fair to say that there's an old saying women fall in love with what they hear men fall in love with what they say with what with what they excuse me yeah with what they see that's why men lie and women wear makeup so would you say that it's fair that women fall in love with what they hear? I personally think that's an oversimplification. I think people are individuals and people fall in love with, you know. But generally speaking, their heart. generally speaking, not, sure. not just you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I, I, I mean, you, you said that the pussy chooses, but I, I would argue it's the female mind that chooses. And then the vagina reacts to what the, it interprets from what the man is saying. I don't mean the pussy just as a physical attribute. I mean, the pussy as a as a vibe. <laughs> Okay. The the vibe, <laughs> the famous vibe. Yes, it's very big. You know the vibe. The vibe. Well, actually, I would argue most men don't. <laughs> you think so? Yes, most men don't understand when women say the vibe. I it's a very it's a very crude way to uh, to explain how I feel at a given time based on what the my, man is telling me, what I'm experiencing, uh, s- the situation that we're currently in. It's a very um, ambiguous term that women use to describe the atmosphere well i'd say the vibe is frequently changing so it makes sense it could be confusing no i'm, I'm talking about like a lot of men are not familiar with the ambiguous term that women use the vibe but it's it's a it encompasses many different things what do you think it means i just described it which would be i literally just described it <laughs> could you run it back for me one more time a little synopsis Wow, well, this is it encompasses many different things. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Wow, language, uh, body language. This is gonna be a long it. show, man. Yeah. You, the vibe. Oh, man. Right. you want that out of the right now, man? Vibe. Uh, vibe. The time. I literally oh just described it, but it's fine. Um, so to go back to the question, you say it's until I say so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, have you? What's and you said the longest you made a guy wait is forever. Yep. Does that imply that you guys never had sex before? And that he's still waiting, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then what's the shortest you made a guy wait? Or was that the next follow-up question? It was going to be, but... Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. That's that, that's fine. Do you want to go around once yeah. and then... Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So she said forever. 